never gonna end if you keep screwing up like this, Outrider! Yo, what is good, y'all? This is your boy, Will Too Humble. I am back with another video. I'm not gonna lie, man. For what y'all just witnessed from the intro, I, I I hate I hate people disrespecting Devastator, man. I really do. I hate it. I hate it so much, dude. It seems like. Each and every time you try to play with some random people, it's almost like once they see Davis Devastator Brother, it's like, all right, we gotta automatically kick the dude out. Just because, you know, Devastator can't do no damage, etc. etc. Like I don't I don't I don't understand, bro. It's like y'all are really doubting Devastator and his damage. Like he hits like a truck. I mean look at the background. Look at the background. I'm doing Challenge tier 14 with a build that I just made for the Devastator. Like I just made this. I like I made I made this build for the Devastator in like like five minutes. Give or take. Like it was definitely like five minutes I made this build. And guess what? I'm wrecking. Like this is something I just made up. I cause I'm gonna lie to you, at first I went with the um Vanquisher tree. Or Devastator, but I feel like the only way for you to go for the Vanquisher tree is by having those tier 3 mods, which I really don't have. So I really don't have that, like, all right, go in there and kill him type of, like, you know, build. Like, I can't do that until I get the tier 3 mods. So right now, I'm just rocking the Anomaly build, which I feel like is really the best for Devastator. Like, like I said, like, Devastator hits like a truck when it comes to the anomaly, like, and the survivability for Devastator is much higher instead of the Vanquisher. Because if you're not building right for Vanquisher, then you're going to constantly keep dying over and over. You, you're going to keep falling over and over. But anywho, in the background, I was playing with two guys. I was playing with two people. Mind you, I did I did a run, you know, with this dude that you see in the background, who is the trickster. I did a run with him, and you know, I was like, all right, cool. I got I got somebody to help me out and stuff like that. But my main problem was this dude didn't even do that. He didn't do no damage. He didn't do he wasn't doing damage like me. He was not doing damage at all. If anything, his damage was complete trash. I'm not gonna lie. It was complete doo-doo. I'm not saying to be mean. I'm being blunt as possible. In that moment, as I am killing everything. You see, like, bro. Like, in the background, you see me doing, like, over 100k each time I did my ground quake. My man wasn't doing no damage like that. He really wasn't. So, it took much longer 
for us to even try to like clear this area out because I feel like the maximum time that you're supposed to clear this room has got to be before six minutes. Before you should be at least like at five, five or less to clear this to clear this area out. And should we couldn't even do that. So it it was like we okay. So I'm gonna say this: we managed to clear this room, but I'm talking about overall trying to get a gold. In this mission, it was impossible. There was, it was not possible. Like, damage is really too. It's, it's our damage is not optimal. Okay, it's not optimal to try to like get through and try to like beat everything. It's really difficult when you know you're trying to like gather yourself and try to get all the loot that you can to try to make it build optimal. But I don't want to. When it comes to the RNG side of it, it's gonna take a long time. You know. It's gonna take a long time, but I don't mind it though because I like grinding these types of games. Although there's probably something wrong with the I don't know, like trying to connect. It's very hard to try to connect to this game. It's really hard. Like I, sometimes I try to connect, sometimes it don't work. When it doesn't work, that's when everything is just bad. Like can't can't play with other people because you you're afraid that. It's gonna say, oh, servers don't work. And then you're gonna have to retry it again. And then the servers may not work again. It's, it's just like back and forth, back and forth. And I'm just like, okay, I can't take this no more. I'm gonna just go ahead and take a break. But I was like, nah, I'm gonna power through. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna power through it. I'm gonna power through it. And you know, from that point on, we just gonna have fun, right? Wrong. But, <laughs> but, any, but you know, I'm just saying. However, I was playing with two guys, and it's almost like the dude that I was playing with, he knew what he was doing. I'm, I see him, he had, you know, the, 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 the usual build for, you know, for the special rounds, the blight rounds and stuff like that. Like, I saw that coming from him. So he was definitely basing his build around doing his bonus firepower. And that's what we really need in order to kill these, you know, NPCs. Like, you know, it take it was taking us a good minute. Like, my status power wasn't really that high. I feel like my status power was what, like, at fifty. I feel like the status power really is very effective when it's like around like a hundred or higher. That's when that status power is like broken, right? So I was only halfway there when I first made this build, but then, you know. I still took some time and still try to like make it somewhat optimal. So I try to like upgrade all the uh, all the attributes. Try to get them bad boys at top tier because I know when it comes down fighting bosses or you know the last enemy, it does take a very long time. I just want to just want y'all to know that it takes a long time. Is it okay though? Yeah, sure. Because now it gives you that sense of all right. I think I'm missing something and then I can go back and change it if I need to. That's what this drove me to do. It drove me to try to make some improvements on trying to get my build right. But me being a devastator main, it's like a lot. Earth Elemental is probably like like a like a cool ass power. Like being being a devastator reminds me of Toph from you know Avatar, the Earthbender. Like who doesn't want to be that? I'm not saying you know you got to be an Earthbender. You know what I mean? But it's just so fun to look at, so fun to watch. Like I feel completely strong. I don't feel like I'm outplayed. Nothing. Like I feel like a god when I use Devastator. I'm moving around. My mobility is crazy. You know, I'm trying to sit here and try not to die. You know, because this game really wants you to be moving. It doesn't want you to sit still or behind cover. But at the same time, I do find it's like, okay, the cover is only an option in this game. It's definitely an option for some players who want to just, you know, sit and not move. But however, when it comes to this type of mode, you really need to kill everything you need to kill everything in a certain amount of time and look at the time the time is seven minutes and 50 seconds 
So that is basically two minutes on this freaking that, that, like that was two minutes wasted just being stuck on this part. Because like I said, when you clear when you do this mission with a very optimal build, you're supposed to clear that out before it hits six minutes. You should be done with it by like four or five. And then in this area, obviously this area is definitely crowded with like a bunch of enemies, especially elites. So these elites, bro, they, man, they got so many different abilities. It makes no sense. So as I was like playing this run, I don't lie, it was mad frustrating because the dude I was playing with, I was kind of like worried about him. Like I was worried about myself, but I was kind of worried about him because... Yeah, he was I like I fail I know I fail, you know what I mean? But I was worrying about him the more like the most because once he falls, it's like alright, I'm the only one that's gonna be doing damage and that takes up more time. So I gotta like make sure I'm staying alive, trying to do damage, applying this dang on bleed to everybody, so you know, I can do somewhat, you know, damage over time while he's up there trying to recover from falling. You know, I gotta do something. I can't just sit there and do nothing. Boy, you know, we got another guy joining. He was, uh, you know, a Technomancer. And this is the thing. So you got Technomancer, you got Trickster, and you got Pyromancer. And they all basically have some kind of special bullets, right? They got some special bullets. One got Toxin, one got, you know, I, I think it slows people down. I don't really know what it is, but it, it does something. And you got the Pyromancer that puts them on fire, right? And that's what these players are tend to go for if you're using those three classes. Obviously, Devastator doesn't have anything like that. But at the same time, I feel like Devastator shouldn't even have that anyway. Like, what, what would it be? What? Bullets that can, you know, put bleed on them or something? Like, no. It don't make sense. Nah. No. It will be cool, but no. I would rather, I would want, I would, I don't want that. I don't want that for the Devastator. Devastator, I feel like, is all about causing havoc. Causing havoc with his abilities. Up there just leaping across the map. Like he a dango meteor. Like, come on, man. Like, this class is too much fun. And people downplay it so much because it doesn't have the special bullets. Like, hello? Are you serious? Like why y'all why like why y'all doubting a devastator player? Like I don't get y'all. Like like it's messed up in so many ways. There's nothing wrong with being a devastator main. But oh, but and, and, then, and then know this and know this. I want y'all to know this too. It seems like once you see a devastator, if if, if devastator is not rock, rocking any kind of legendary gear, they automatically kick you out. But it's like, when you are rocking the legendary gear, it's like, oh, he might be doing damage. You know what? I ain't about to kick him. What you mean? But it's like, I don't lie. I'm going to sound like a hypocrite right now. There were moments where, like, you know, I kicked people because they didn't have, like, their builds fully really optimal. I ain't going to lie to you. It's not that I didn't want to play with them. It's just that I'm trying to do some hard-ass content, and if I can't do the content right, then you know somebody got to go. I mean, shoot, it happened to me. People kicked me so people kicked me so quick, man. They was like, "All right, sorry, sorry, dude. Mm -mm. You got to go, bro. I'm sorry. Got to go. I love you, but you gotta go." It's like, "All right, well, I get I get kicked." But it's different when I'm the main one doing the most out of two people. That's when it's completely different. That's when it's completely different. I'm doing the most damage out of the two. And I'm the last one still alive. So just imagine once this build gets stronger. Just imagine. Just imagine. There's no way I'm dying. Like, like I said, like this is the first time I made this build. And then, th and then think. And, and, I, and I think for the RNG because... I was definitely getting the seismic pieces, you know, but I was just like, you know what, let me just get rid of, or let me just dismantle that that legendary so I can get the mod for it, and I can put it on this build that I'm using, so I can have a little bit more, you know, 
max damage because if I was to put on that piece that gave me the second quake I wouldn't have been optimal at all I would have been doing mediocre damage just like these two guys are doing right now and mind you they're using Technomancer and they are using Trickster you expect them to do the most you expect them to do the damage you expect them to do all the work because you know Trickster that's it's like a DPS class right just like Technomancer is the DPS class right they're supposed to kill everything but they weren't killing everything obviously but that was okay that was okay like I ain't get mad I ain't trip out nothing nope I was absolutely I was absolutely good with it I was just like all right well can't get mad at it like I mess with people who know what they're doing and if you're using a different class from me then I absolutely respect that but you kicking me and I'm the one basically carrying there's no way there's no way this is this is mad ridiculous bro like this is probably I feel like this is the only game that I really felt like people would kick you so quick they'll kick you in an instant if you don't look like you are OP like if your appearance don't look OP they're going to kick you out so quick. Or shoot, they are, or it can just be because, you know, oh, they try to make room for their friends. And I'll be like, all right, cool. That's understandable. But in this case, like, my, my man's kicked me. And I didn't even die or even fall first. You get what I'm saying? Like, when it came to this part that I see in the background right here. I didn't even fall. I didn't even fall. And then if I did fall, then you best believe I'm about to pick myself right back up and not fall at all. Because we had the last moment. Look at our time. We are 14 minutes. We're basically 15 minutes. And we're about to get, we're, we are about to like lose this. We're about to make this a bronze. Because like I said, look at my man's health. Look at his health. His health is not even going down really. And they're not even focusing this dude. I'm the only one trying to focus him while I'm fighting a group of enemies. Although my build is somewhat alright, but it's not strong, strong. Like, oh yeah, I can take on the boss by myself type of strong, but it was something. But I was still having a tough time. Yep, yep, and yeah, I was right. So I did fall. I failed because I'm the only one fighting this boss by myself while they're taking care of NPCs, which they should. But... They didn't take care of him at a fast pace to try to help me fight this boss because the boss was just near me. They fighting these little baby NPCs and they still struggle. And I'm just like, what's going on? That's why I ran over here to try to see what was happening. Because it was just like, why are you taking so long to kill these little baby NPCs, bro? Like, y'all know we about to lose time, right? Like, the rewards are freaking dookie if you're not getting gold. The percentage goes down when you are taking up too much time to try to clear everything. I don't know you. I'll probably make another video about like, you know, seeing if, you know, the time is better or survivability is better. Because when it comes down to time, you have to hurry and try to white kill everything. Kill everything in sight. That's what you have to do. And if you don't do it in time... You're basically not going to get the best reward. And I know that's been stirring up like in like on Twitter and stuff like that. People's opinion on if it should be either time or it should be, you know, like survivability. Like, all right, if you fall, then that's when you lose a star or, you know, if you um, it, it has to be something different, right? Because people can't get their bills right for them to do this type of, you know, miss these types of missions when they when you have so little. And then now it's like, all right, you just by yourself. See, see what I mean? I was by myself. Obviously, he picked me up. I actually appreciate it. But. My, but, but here's the thing though I was still doing the most damage I was still doing the most but then it's like I got disrespected still but I ain't gonna lie to y'all 
I wish I can talk some more, but I'm about to run out of time. So this is the last few things that I'm going to say before I go. To everything that you have witnessed, I do not lie about the things that I say. I don't. But, the next video, I will definitely make. So, y'all can see the amount of damage I did. But hey, I gotta go, y'all. Peace. I'm out.